Six parameters, okay. <laughs> well, I just, uh, <coughs> first of all, I just wanted to, uh, again, uh, uh, welcome you um, uh, back to my talk, actually. I don't know, uh, I have had uh, this uh, kind of meeting in this place or not, but uh, uh, obviously I, we, I met you, many of you, already uh, many times. Uh, maybe few of you are new faces, but uh, generally you all are my students and my friends, so just uh, I want to welcome back to my uh, gossip again. Mm. <coughs> and. Uh, the thing is that uh, topic is, uh, since topic is the six parameters, um, of course uh, many of you have heard from me also uh, talking about the six parameters um, because actually the teaching, uh, the spiritual teaching, uh, you know, without saying Buddhist teaching or anything, but spiritual teaching is very uh, much based on this, uh, on the, on this, this uh, six parameters. Without six parameters, I don't think uh, we can sort of uh, talk about any kind of teachings or any kind of practices, uh, especially spiritual practices. Uh, so spiritual practices, in other words, spiritual practices cannot be done without help of a pra parameters. So uh, <clears throat> we have been um, we have been talking about the six parameters everywhere in France, in England, in any parts of the Europe. Uh, but uh, maybe um, uh, specifically what really we wanted to know is that uh, we wanted to get rid of uh, get rid of uh, uh, the feeling of uh, feeling of uh, 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 selfish kind of selfish uh, attitude has to be get rid of <clears throat> so because the selfish attitude uh, actually causes a lot of problems uh, in our day-to-day -day life uh, so this is the main reason why the six parameters are very, ne very much needed. Uh, otherwise, the six parameters, uh, if the six parameters uh, is considered to be a kind of merely a practice, then uh, I think it doesn't really uh, help. If you don't understand the six parameters as a, as a direct tool to sort of uh, diminish your selfishness, and uh, also sort of like to work with your selfishness. That's a very, very important. Uh, so this is something that uh, we, I mean, uh, today we should be talking about actually. <coughs> mm. And uh, for instance, uh, the, the, the first of the six parameters is the, uh, the generosity. And of course, if you think about the generosity, you know, when you think about generosity and just giving, giving everything, giving money, giving support, giving help, and uh, that's it. Uh, that's, the, that's the practice of, uh, for, uh, what do you call that, generosity, and that's it. Uh, there's nothing, nothing to do with uh, your own uh, mentality, or there's n if there's nothing to do with your own attitude, then it doesn't serve that much of purpose just by giving, everything, giving sort of like many things away, and that's it. it, it yeah, it maybe indirectly it helps a bit, <clears throat> but it is not that effective. So in the, uh, what really, uh, what really Buddha Shakyamuni is wish, you know, was that, you know, through giving, through giving the things like material help and uh, all these things, but at the same time, his wishing, you know, his wish is to, to us to give, to give love, and uh, and also not only that, the, 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 uh, through giving your love to or sharing the love with others, uh, you will be able to uh, how do you say uh, reduce your selfishness. Um, you know, th through the developing understanding. So this is the kind of uh, the the uh, how do you say 
the what do you call that the this sincere wish of Buddha Shakyamuni if I like I mean if you like you can say that too so uh, by giving you know by, by practicing generosity you one should not feel that only giving is the practice and then let's do that and then that's it if you do not really know how to connect yourself with the practice giving practice practice of generosity then it, it doesn't really serve that much of purpose to my feeling and to my understanding because the main thing is the selfishness that you have to really work with and you have to really reduce so that we will first first result we, we, we should be expecting is to be happy and then second result that we can <coughs> we really should be a second result or whatever second effect that we should really be thinking of or uh, looking forward uh, for is that um, then be, be beneficial, benefiting others. That's the main, main kind of goal or main purpose. But the first of all, we should be happy. That's, that's, that is really the key point uh, for, the, for, for the time being for, for people like us. The, the, the main happiness is the main thing. You have to be real, truly happy. So in order to create that kind of environment around you, you, one definitely needs the help of the six parameters, such as the generosity and ethic moralities, etc., etc. So therefore, I mean, it should, one should not think uh, that the parameters are only for helping people, helping others. That's all, you know, because generosity, they say generosity, so you should not keep the things for you. You should give everything away, and that's it. Then th this is, uh, why? Because this Buddha Shakyamuni said that. So we are Buddhist, we should be f acting that way. Or it's, uh, it's somebody said, so-called guru or master or whatever, that, that they told me that to do this, so therefore I'm doing it, and then that's it. So if you, of course, uh, if you are very loyal to Buddha or loyal to a master or guru, you may be doing it, but you don't, you don't uh, but, but with no understanding, with no sort of connection, you know, the, the, the no skill of connecting yourself with the, with the actual practices. So this is uh, sort of like, a, maybe it is a way to, to sort of approach, the uh, kind of approach to the spirituality, but it is not really the spirituality, directly speaking, you know, because the, you are not really directly connecting to your spirit, your spirit, spirit means mind, mind which really influenced by the selfishness, ego, and that's, uh, so, you know, that sort of things. And uh, we don't want that, we don't want that, because if we have that, we, if, we, if, we, if we are constantly influenced by the ego, by the selfishness. We will never be happy. This is very much obvious, you know, there's no doubt about it. There's, you know, no matter whether you are Buddhist or not, or you are a believer or not, or you are spiritual or not, doesn't matter. That is very, very understandable. The selfishness always comes, uh, how do you say, comes as a, as, a, as a pain, I would say, as a pain. Uh, maybe sometime it's like a, uh, uh, pleasurable pain, <laughs> you know, uh, it's, it's a painful pleasure or maybe a pleasurable pain, whatever. But there is a pain that goes together with and uh, and sooner or later there definitely is going to be like a, 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 a it's, 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 it's going to be a pain. So uh, we don't want pain, we don't want a pain, we want a proper total through a thorough kind of thorough, thorough kind of what you call that, uh, uh, the happiness, uh, in order to help others thoroughly, in order to help uh, to, uh, you know, the benefit others thoroughly. This is the reason why Buddha Shakyamuni said, uh, uh, what you call that, uh, self-gain, you know, self-gain comes first to help others. So this is what uh, we say, self-gain actually means, self means to yourself, you have to gain the happiness in order to in order to help others we all i mean the, in the in the west and also in the east many newcomers they are longing to help others which is also very good but then you know they can't at the end of day end of the day they they feel very tired they feel they they are ripped 